Hello! Uh, this is a, a bit of a specific problem um, that we're going to fix. If you've got a Hewlett Packard laptop and you've got a whole load of updates, this is a new one, this is Windows 11. So you sit there and you run Windows Update and it ends up with a couple of updates that are stuck. Um, and it just refuses to install them and you just get errors. Then this video will show you how to fix that. So what we've got is, um, uh, we, what, what I think has happened is that when it does updates, it updates to the newest version whilst forgetting that there are older versions that it hasn't updated. So what we're going to do is just going to reset Windows Update and get rid of anything that's stashed. And then we'll restart it and then we'll see how that takes us. So I've got a little script here that I'm going to run. I'm going to right click and run as administrator and I'm going to do yes. And I'm going to let it do its thing. There might be some errors, but we'll see if it fixes it. So we'll just do this. And what it's doing is it's just tidying up uh, Windows Update. It might, um, you know, errors are normal, so we'll see what it does. Right, so that's ready to restart. So I'm going to press any continue and continue. I'm going to restart it. And then we'll see if that's fixed the problem. So now I'm going to go to Windows Update again. So right click Settings, Windows Update. I'm going to do uh, download and install all, retry all, and then we'll see what it does now. And now we're up to date. <laughs> So I'm going to restart it again, just to verify that everything's worked correctly. It doesn't think we need to do anything. So I will restart rather than shut down, because there are differences. So this must happen on every single Hewlett Packard laptop of this particular type. As I say, it's a HP Pavilion. It's the 14DV 2500SA. It's got an i3, 256 gig solid state drive, 8 gig of RAM, um, pre-installed with Windows 7, uh, not Windows 7, what we're talking about, pre-installed with Windows 11, and uh, so this is, everyone would experience this. <laughs> you would um, turn your computer on, and it do updates, and everybody who bought this laptop, presumably, would um, have this problem, so hopefully this will save you a bit of headache. So now if I do check for updates again, we're up to date and everything's fixed. I'm going to look at advanced options to see if there's any optional updates, but there aren't any. So yeah, and that's how you fix it. So I'll make this script available. Um, I'll give you a link to where it is and you can use it. Um, don't worry about any errors. All it does basically is it stops the, the background services that protect the Windows Update folders, then it empties the folders and then just resets it so that it checks to update what's there rather than trying to update something that's already been updated, if that's making any sense. So yeah, so um, hopefully this has saved you a few hours messing about uh, and you found this video quite quickly and it solved your problem. Uh, any questions, just leave them in the comments. Uh, liking and subscribing is appreciated. Um, I don't do this as a main job. It's nice to get, a, you know, get thrown a bone occasionally. Um, I hope it helps you. That's why I do it. Uh, and um, thanks for watching.